The year is 2012. I am six years old. I discovered this series of flash cartoons by the name of Madness Combat. Just by looking at it, you can pretty much tell that it wasn't made for children. But I still thought it was the coolest shit then, and I still do today. It wasn't just me who thought it was the coolest shit either. Madness has grown since then to be the biggest community on Newgrounds, with numerous fan-created animations, songs, and in particular for today, games. The original Madness Project Nexus released in 2012 on Newgrounds, made by series creator Crinkles and The Swain. <laughs> it's a flash game, so have fun trying to play it today, but its successor came around two years later in 2014. It made a Kickstarter, and then I forgot about it because I was eight years old, disappearing for seven years in my mind until a couple months ago, I saw the demo and got excited and bought the game on launch day. So, was it worth waiting seven years for? Kind of? At its best, this game can replicate the baddest fights of the cartoons, with you constantly picking up weapon after weapon and dispatching everything that comes your way with style. At its worst, you're running around trying to pick up a gun in a pile of 40 lead pipes while 15 dudes chase you around until eventually you die because you got sunlocked into a corner. And oops, no checkpoints. It took you 20 minutes for you to get there the first time, and it's gonna take you 20 minutes again. If there's anything I want to change about this game, it's the lack of checkpoints. Yeah. Levels are like 20 minutes long, with no checkpoints until before a boss at the very end. Repeating the same 20 minutes of clearing every room of enemies over and over is not fun or challenging. On top of the super sparse checkpoints, it doesn't help that a lot of the time, what I died to felt like bullshit. There were many times where I'd enter a room, and there was a simple puzzle to complete in order to proceed, but it was kind of placed out of view or wasn't made very obvious, like these fucking turrets! <laughs> not a big deal, but the game also sometimes continuously spawns enemies while you're looking around and displays combat lock in the corner, so you think, oh, I have to kill all of them, but no, it's lying! Why the fuck is the game lying? The game patched the combat lock bit out, so it shouldn't be a huge issue anymore, but you'll still find some wacky brain dead quote unquote <laughs> puzzles in there sometimes. The optional tutorial kind of sucks as well. What's the attack bar? <laughs> Fuck if I know, the tutorial doesn't know either, but it does teach you how to parry, even though it's basically useless. I've been told I could have had a better time with the game if I played it better, but the tutorial is not, not good, good, and that's pretty much your only guide. Combat in general is weird. The controls are clunky, especially in the picking up weapons and the dodging department. Oh! You do get used to it, but in any fight that requires you to manage a bunch of enemy attacks or QTEs, thanks zombies, it feels very sluggish and unresponsive. Melee combat is really bad for crowd control, which sucks in later levels where all the game does is throw more enemies at you, and taking cover is useless against AI that pretty much just charge you. Friendly AI usually spend more time getting killed, killing themselves, what? or just standing there than actually helping, which is really frustrating on top of everything else. There's four player local co-op and maybe that's the intended way to play the game, but I don't give a shit, I played this game alone and suffered. That was a lot of complaining, and it wouldn't be unreasonable to walk away from this video assuming I hated every second of this game. But I didn't. I think that if you just fix the checkpoints and got rid of the bullshit... Oh, oh, no way, no! It could largely be enjoyable as a fun little twin-stick shooter. Killing things feels good, particularly executions make me hard. The concept of this game, I already said this, when it works, it works. You can dual wield pretty much everything, doing counters against the enemies that run at you and throwing them across the fucking room is awesome. When I first started playing, I got really excited by the opportunities that the moveset could provide. You've way more tools at your disposal than you might expect, like kicking and countering, not a parry, a counter, still another difference. And the ability to differentiate between shooting at head level and chest level, which I didn't think would be useful, but it is for enemies in the ground and stuff. Some of it doesn't work, like parrying, the dodge is really ass, but some of it does. There's also some really cool weapons, but unfortunately, you rarely get to see them. Graphics-wise, they were already limited if they wanted to stay true to the source material. If you haven't noticed, pretty much everything is gray or red. Please! Oh my god, come! There's pretty good attempts to change up the color, but everything still has a gray undertone. There aren't really any ooh moments. The music is okay. There's some good songs and some generic songs. It sounds like a freaking music orchestra of farts. And not much else. The voice lines are borderline shitposts. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? He <laughs> said, bruh. <laughs> Those are pretty funny. It's probably important to mention that the voice acting is extremely minimal. You only hear like little big planet as voice acting and also vocal chatter from enemies and stuff. So the story is entirely told through text. The subtitles here are kind of hard to read. It Ugh. often has pretty unreadable stylistic fonts. I stopped paying attention to the story pretty quick, partly because of all the reading, but the story is pretty generic from what I could tell. It would also be nice if the game archived all the lore dumps you find lying around. So if you didn't feel like reading them, you can always come back. And there's a shit ton of content in this game. Regardless of quality, I got through story mode in just over 20 hours and arena mode, I've completely glossed over.
It's not a traditional endless mode like you'd expect considering the original. It seems to be more of another campaign with some stat leveling and party management. I haven't played much of it. It seems pretty cool. Would definitely recommend checking it out and maybe even before the story. It looks like they put as much effort into it as they did with the story and it could probably last you just as long. So obviously I've had a bit of a mixed experience with this game, but would I recommend it? If you're at all interested in this game, whether it be from the soldier or you're a newly minted Five Nights at Funkin' Refugee, I would recommend it. You'll probably find it enjoyable. Otherwise, I would be careful. Admittedly, I am a little biased. Really, really biased, actually. I just checked the Steam page editing this video and holy shit, it's got overwhelmingly positive reviews. And the few negative reviews I saw seemed to be from people in a similar situation to me, where I really wanted to like this game, but I genuinely had to force myself to keep playing which is why I didn't play arena mode all that much. I waited seven years for this game since I was a little bitch, so I was partly expecting a Half-Life 3 cum explosion in my pants. And unfortunately, those are some big shoes to fill. Take what I've said with a grain of salt, since it seems like the majority of people didn't have the same aggravating issues that I did, based on the Steam reception and what I've seen on the Discord. Plus, there's only two other reviews on YouTube right now, so on that front, it's hard to get second opinions. That's pretty much all I can say. Congrats to Crinkles and the team. I'm sure it feels bad having your game partly shat on after a coma long development. Sorry about that, but you put a lot of work into this and it's finally done. Uh, I try to make this video pretty compact and less shit. Hopefully it was. Thanks for watching. I am just a freak. Oh man, I gotta really piss. My head is Oh, shut up, bitch. Please. Holy shit. Oh.